One problem I have in my kitchen is that there isn't a central place to hang towels. I have a place over there and a place over here, but I would like to add on one to the island using um, some leftover pieces from making the island and then a three quarter inch dowel. So I'm gonna cut something to length and then get that put on. This was my first idea of, of how to connect the dowel to the island, but I ended up changing my mind to something a lot better. So here I'm cutting the dowel to 20 inches and I'm just using a hacksaw for that because it's easy and fast. And then I'm putting a chamfer on there just to make my job of sanding a little easier. And then I was hand sanding that with 320. And that's how it turned out. Looks pretty good. Next, I made two cuts at uh, two inches on this material. And then I used a very worn out piece of sandpaper on a disc sander to uh, smooth that out and chamfer the edges a little bit. That definitely needs to be replaced. And then I used world's most underpowered drill press to bore two three quarter inch holes in each of those pieces. It's a slow and painful process, but uh, it, it gets it done. And one of the pieces ended up being slightly askew, but that's okay. Uh, I will make it align better later. And then I forgot to film putting the round over on each of those pieces, so I just did this to another piece of scrap just to show you what I was doing. Sometimes my lack of planning pays off and sometimes it doesn't pay off. In this case, it didn't quite pay off. Uh, two dimensional problems. One, when these two pieces are the widest that they can go and still work in the way that I want them in terms of how they're attached, there's too much stick out either side of the dowel. And not that that's a problem mechanically, it's just it looks weird. So I'm gonna have to cut the dowel down probably until it's about like that on both sides. I think that looks best. The other thing is I just didn't make these pieces long enough. So the dowel is too close to this piece here and uh, it just is gonna be very difficult to get a towel in there. Um, it would work as is, but I think I should re remake both of these and also again, cut down the dowel. So uh, I'll probably have those back here and right about. And just like that, it is now shorter and these pieces are now longer. One more design change that I made is to kind of angle them in. One, I think it makes it look just a little bit nicer. And two, one of these pieces chipped out really badly at the edge when I used the hole saw, so that kind of hides it. But overall, I think that's actually a positive change. The other thing I already did is drill a hole and get some thread started in there with the screw that I'm gonna use. I decided to change to one of these uh, two inch long stainless screws since I have a lot more material to work with. So now all that's left to do is drill a hole here and then mount it up. So one quick note on why I only put one screw in each of these, that is so that I still have some alignment this way um, because I'm never gonna get them perfectly straight with each other. That means that the rod, when it goes through, can point up or down a little bit to align with the one on the other side without any other problems. And just like that, it is done. They really only took I don't know, less than an hour of actual work, probably even around 30 to 45 minutes. Most of the time spent on this was just thinking of how I wanted to do it, not what I wanted to do. And that's just coming down to the tooling and cutting of how uh, I made everything. I think this is gonna be plenty strong. It's not for leaning on or picking anything up. It's just for a couple towels and the occasional uh, bump as you're walking by by accident. And I think it's gonna do great. So until next time, see ya.